on in. On in. Oh, that was a tough climb then. Quite an equal mode. Okay, 15% climb in equal mode. Whew. It's hard going but doable. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for joining me on my ride again today. We'll be climbing Hay Tor today, so we'll be starting off in Bubby Tracy. Um, Hay Tor is a big old climb, it's about 3.6 miles long. It average grade is about 6%. I think it maxes out about 12. So all good is a it's a cat two hill climb, so it's, it's quite a quite a big one here in the UK. So as usual, we'll um go we'll see what we can see along the way. Let's go. Morning. Alright guys, I'm in Bubby now. Let's get to the other side of Bubby and we can start to climb up High Tour. This is it guys. This is the beginning of Hay Tour. 3.6 miles long, average 6%. It maxes out about 12. And 350 odd meters of climbing. Looks like it'll be busy up on Dartmoor today. Well, I'm still in eco mode at the moment, but I'm gonna treat myself. There we go into uh, in the turbo. 
plenty of cyclists out this morning. Sun's out. Best day of the year so far, I think, here in the UK. Well, especially down here in the southwest, anyway. And, uh, as I've been riding throughout winter, <laughs> this is a big, big difference. I got my bib. I got my bib shorts on today. Yeah, I got the knees out. I'm glad I did because I'm really warmed up. I'm gonna be flying past that cyclist in a minute. Lovely jubbly. If you haven't ridden this hill before, it's one that you won't forget. But the creel again is making mincemeat of it. Coming over the cattle grid now, so we're uh, we are officially up on Dartmoor now. I don't wave them on. Even though I can see the road is clear, I won't wave them on. It's a, if anything did happen, uh, it'd be my fault then, so. I used to, I used to see the road clear ahead, I used to just wave them on, get them past me, get them on their way, but no more. There you go guys, up there, that's Haytor Rock, that's the first tour that we're seeing on this ride, it's a popular uh, tourist destination for walkers and climbers. I can see quite a few people walking and climbing up there right now. You can see guys but they literally stood up the top of Hay Tour up there. Hiya. 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 See that cyclist up there ahead? Probably 100, 100 yards ahead of us. You watch how fast this thing climbs. No more struggling like that for me. I'd rather just enjoy the ride and enjoy the hills. As I do now. Nearly at the top guys.
so beautiful without the cars rolling by. Yeah, this is the uh, grave of Kitty J. It's a real sad story to Kitty J. Let me tell you. This is the resting place of Kitty J. She was a 19th century housemaid, orphaned from birth. She spent her childhood in the workhouse. Uh, later, she fell pregnant out of wedlock to a local farmer's son. Now, 200 years ago, her situation would have been totally unacceptable, and she was disgraced and abandoned, an outcast from her community. As a result, dismissed from her job, with no means of supporting herself, she sadly committed suicide by hanging. In turn, she was denied a Christian burial, therefore she had to be buried at a crossroads like this, on the boundary line of the parish, uh, where it was custom for people who committed suicide in those days. Now, if you want to find out a little bit more about, about her, you can um, look up Kitty J. It's grave on Dartmoor. Check it out, it's a really sad story. Yeah, that's a real, it's a real sad story about Kitty J. It was hard times back then. Yeah, apparently the uh, farmer's son, he denied that the child was his. Yeah, she hung herself in the uh, farmyard barn, apparently, from one of the beams. Still, she's not forgotten about. People leave flowers at her graveside all the time. Yeah, and the people that outcasted her from the parish, I expect their graves are lying abandoned somewhere. And Kitty's grave is um, having fresh flowers put on it all the time. Right, I'm on my way back home again now, heading down into a place called Morton Hampstead. 
Oeh, got a bit of downhill now. Yay! the dogs there in the um in the trailer then <laughs> of the bike hey yeah hey yeah oh it's so nice so nice having the sun on my back Before I move on guys, I would just like to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers. That's new and old. I know some of you have been with me for years, but I'm, I'm picking up um, subscribers every day. It's just fantastic. I've now reached the milestone of 500 subscribers for this channel, which is amazing. I'd just like to say a massive, massive thank you and you're all welcome. It's just me riding around here in Devon in the UK on my, just doing my local routes and just seeing what we see along the way that's all I do thank you very much for joining me on my rides and keeping me company right let's go Just changed. Oh. Oh. oh, pick me up. <laughs> nice. guys that's it from me for today's ride i hope you enjoyed that one up on hay tour right until next time you guys take care of yourself and i'll see you soon bye for now bye bye bye